Russia is deploying a new weapon on the battlefield, UPAB 1500B. It's essentially a glide bomb with a range of around 30 miles or 50 kilometers. Instead of relying on rockets or jet engines, gliding bombs use wings to navigate toward their intended target. These munitions are often released from aircraft and leverage aerodynamic lift to improve their range and precision. Gliding bombs may come in guided or unguided forms and can be equipped with various warheads, including high explosive or bunker busters. As per reports, it's been used in Cherniv Oblast recently. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russian UPAB 1500B is a complex challenge for Ukraine. Let's get started. The UPAB 1500B is a Russian made precision guided bomb designed to carry out precision attacks using the GLONASS GPS channel. The guided bomb was first unveiled at a Russian arms expo in 2019. Since then, it's been tested many times and has now made it to the battlefield. It's designed to destroy hardened targets such as bunkers, command posts, and underground facilities and carries a 1,010 kilogram or 2,225 pounds concrete piercing high explosive payload. With the capability to inflict substantial harm on infrastructure and military bases, the UPAB 1500B stands out as a particularly potent weapon. The UPAB 1500B bomb is dropped by an Su-34 fullback or Su-24 Fencer bomber aircraft at an altitude of approximately 45,000 feet, 30 miles or 50 kilometers away from the target. Its trajectory can be modified in flight. It's thought to have an accuracy of 10 meters CEP. While details are limited, UPAB 1500B seems similar to JDAM or Joint Direct Attack Munition used by the United States. Russia claims that this system cannot be shot down by Ukrainian Air Defense Forces. Ukrainian Air Force spokesman Yuri Ignat said that the Russians may begin regularly attacking Ukraine with this one and a half ton bomb. He noted that the enemy published information that the head of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, Sergei Shoigu, inspected one of the defense factories and talked about the production line for 2023 with plans to manufacture the bomb. Ignat said, we need assets that can counter and shoot down carriers. These are Patriot systems, SAMP-T modern F-16 aircraft, and other Generation 4 Plus aircraft, indicating that Ukraine has limited means to counter this weapon currently. The UPAB 1500B is a pretty big bomb in size and is not powered by its own propulsion. Technically, it can be tracked throughout its entire flight and potentially be shot down. But not all important assets in Ukraine are protected by air defense systems, which leaves a lot of room for this kind of weapon to wreak havoc. Secondly, the UPAB 1500B can be released out of the range of Ukraine's short-range air defense systems. It's to be noted that most of the medium-range S-300s are either destroyed or deployed far behind the line of contact. Thirdly, this kind of weapon could be very cheap to produce compared to standoff missiles like Iskander M or KH-22. This means Russia will be able to produce it in much larger quantities, essentially overwhelming the defensive systems. Last but not least, using a costly system like Patriot Systems, SAMP-T to neutralize this kind of glide bomb would not be sustainable in the long term. The most efficient way for Ukraine to counter this challenge will be to take out the launch platform like Su-34. It remains to be seen how the Ukrainian military responds to this new threat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.